guys, the following video is a demonstration on how to make jello shots. Now, I'm going to leave a disclaimer because you can get into some kind of like legal issues. In order to drink, you must be of age for one. For two, you must not drink and drive because that's just wrong and illegal. And just have fun and be safe. So enjoy this video and like I said, I'm videotaping tomorrow the party. So you'll see that on Sunday. So have fun. Enjoy the video. Bye. Hello everybody. Um, today in Clark's Corner I'm going to show you how to make jello shots. These shots are good for like parties and whatever, you know, functions you have. Um, I'm having a St. Patty's Day party on Saturday, tomorrow. So I decided that I would do jelly shots or jello shots, whatever you want to call them, beforehand. In this video, you're not going to see me. You're just going to see my hands and me doing a demonstration on how this is done. I have my ingredients here. I've got it online. I will give you guys the recipe below and the link to it below. So, what you need is your jello or gelatin. I'm doing green because St. Patty's Day, you know, green, you know, whatever. So, I'm doing green. And you need a cup of boiling water. That's why I have a hot pot right there. You need a half a cup of cold water. I put mine in a Powerade bottle just to like keep cold for the day. Your alcohol of choice. I was going to do vodka shots, but I have margarita and margarita is actually good too. It's a tequila, so it'll be like a tequila jello shot, which in my books I think it's okay anyway. So what you and you want very cold water and of course your little shooter glasses. I got these ones at Lawton's Drugs. They are the little medication cups you get. You can get, like, they're like disposable. So you take a shot back and you just basically, what not, you, and then you flick it in the garbage. So there's a hundred of these there. Doubting that I'll be using the full hundred, but you know, you can always have extras left over and for the next time you do a party. So what you need to do first is, you need to, I'm going to follow my recipe, chill liquor and water, so I've been doing that. Take a jello, okay I'm going to do this strategically. Take it and pour it into your bowl. Sorry the lighting is bad, I tried to get some lighting on the go, but you know, sucks here in the night time because I should have did this earlier, but didn't have the supplies earlier. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a jello and you're going to put your one cup of boiling water into the jello mix. So what you do is you take your measuring cup and you leave it there and you need one cup of boiling water. So look at that. Just about one cup. Which is great. So what you do, you're going to pour it Keep your cup because you'll need that to measure out the margarita mix and your cup of water and it help, might help you with distributing the actual jello solution into the little cups that you have. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a spoon, you're going to spill your fork. I'd rather stir it with a fork because I find it gets like it all really good. And then you're going to stir that up. It smells just like lime. And you're going to make sure it's all dissolved, which I think is close to it, but you know, whatever. You can, instead of doing the cold water, you can also do like one full cup of the margarita mix or alcohol of your choice. The, the water is actually optional, but the water actually will help it, you know, freeze or whatever. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put this right here. So like I said, you're gonna wanna keep your fork down, but 
like keep stirring up or you can just use a spoon or whatever, which I'm going to use now. Big spoon, like so. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to pour in your alcohol and your water. So it's half a cup of very cold water. You might want to put it in the fridge, in the fridge, in the fridge for um, the day before or whatnot, because you need it to um, keep it secure. So a half a cup is only to probably about there. Pour that in, and then pour your margarita mix. I have Skinny Girl. It's tequila, and hopefully it works out great. Ugh, I don't like the smell of it. I'm actually not going to do a half a cup. I'm going to do two third cups of tequila. Just to get with that extra like poomph or whatever you want to call it. See? That's your margarita mix. And you stir that in. So you stir, you stir, and more stir. And then what you do is you go and you get what you're gonna need is you're gonna need also a pan of some sort. And I have one behind me. So what you're gonna need is like a pan of some sort that you are gonna wanna lay your cups on flat and they can go flat inside the fridge. So you can use a cookie sheet or you can use this. It's my pepper chip pan and it's a stone pan. I will not be using it for the next little while. See, they go like this, right? So, I'm not going to be using this one, this is just my little demonstration of this one for the video. So what you want to do is, don't put it in garbage right away, you want to scoop up like enough to fill it up so you can have a full shot of whatever you want to call it. A jello shot, or like a tequila shot, or some sort. like I have right here. Probably a little smaller one. Look, look, this is the perfect size. Just a little small measuring cup. And then what you're going to do, you're not going to make a mess. Try not to. Tend to make a mess, not make a mess. Keep everything level. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your little cup and your little shooter cup and you're going to want to fill this up until it gets sort of full. Move it over there. And this is going to be so much fun. I never did these before. Now they're like a little blue green but like you know who cares. And you're just going to want to keep filling it up, and filling it up, and filling it up. Can you see them? Yep, you can see 
see them. It's good. So, um... Oh, can't really see me. Okay. Blurry. Focus. Okay. So, like I said, you're going to want to put these in the fridge now. Ow. And make sure your fridge is nice and cleaned out like mine. Okay, enjoy the night. Bye.